Hi, this is Suma Mahesh from Sierra Months. In this video, I'm going to explain how to start the development in Dynamics 365. And I'm making this video for the whoever is new to the Dynamics 365. And generally the people who are new to the CRM, Dynamics 365, they will be a bit confused where they need to start the development and from where they have to start working on that, uh, uh, what are the tasks they have assigned for them. So those basic things I will be covering in this video. So whenever you joined in, uh, you joined in a project or in a, in a company, so the first step you need to understand whether this project is a complete new project. That means the, it, it's a it's come totally complete new project from the scratch where you are working on it. So if, if that is that kind of a project, if it's a complete new project, then you have to follow certain steps. And if it is already existing project, if it is already existing project uh, where you joined as a new team, new team member in that project, then you need to follow some certain steps. So before going to that, you need to get some prerequisites. You may need to ask your manager or you may need, need to ask your team lead. You need to ask some questions to them. Though, uh, let's see what are those questions. So as a first step or in as a first step in the project, you need to get a access. You need to get a access to CRM environments. Environments. So this access will be provided by the your maybe team lead or a your project manager or your some system, your office system administrators who are in that project, they will provide access to you. So where you need to ask that you need to access that to the CRM environments. So what kind of access you need to do the development? You need a system admin role, security role, system administrator administrator or system customizer any one of the role you need to assign to the yourself so once you have that system administrator role then you are ready to do the development your environment is set up so before going to that I just want to explain one more point here for any project for any project generally we will have a four environments one is for dev where all the developers will do the development all, all the developers will do the developments in this environment and test so this CR, test CRM environment, once we done that development, then we will move the solution to the dev to the test environment. Then the testers will do the testing. QA team, they will do the testing and they will give the sign off to us. Once that is testing is passed for your project and your sprint or whatever the uh, feature, then you have to move that solution to the u8 u8 means user acceptance testing so whoever the business people who are the business uh, from from the business side who are given the requirement those people they can do the in this environment the testing and they give the sign off for the production movement so fourth environment, where is the actual our production environment? So generally the most of the scenarios 
the developer they may be having the access to the all the environments are only for the dev environment it depends upon the company to company and project to project and again it depends upon the what type of architecture you are following in the in your project but basic idea for any company for any project we will have a standard for environments now so previously we discussed so you need to identify whether your project is a complete new setup uh, from the beginning you are starting or it's an existing project where you are joined as a new team member so let's say if you take a scenario if it is a if it's a new project new project so you are the only person you are starting the development nobody else is there you are the only person where you are taking the new project and you are starting what are the basic steps you have to take care so from the first things what are the uh, things you need to get it from your manager the first thing from your point of view so you need to first you need to create a publisher publisher and you need to set the prefix you need to set the prefix so this is action from the developer point of view and the second action is a creating a solution creating a solution so to complete these two basic tasks to complete these ba two basic tasks in the day one of your development starting so you need some information from your manager or from your client from your uh, your team lead what whatever who are the persons are there you can you can get that basic information so you need to put the questions like a what is a publisher name what is a publisher name name and prefix what is a prefix what is a publisher name and what is a prefix you need to get the details from your project manager or from your lead or from the client if the client is ready to give it to you and you need to ask if they have any preferences you need to ask the solution name solution name so if nobody is is given giving to you these questions answers so like a, what the publisher name what's a prefix and what is a solution name so if they are not able to come come to a point and they are not able to tell you so if you want to take a decision gen, in generally what we will give the publisher name sometimes we will give it as a that for which company we are building this solution that company name we will give as a prefix that starting letters starting three letters or four letters it depends upon that we will give it as a prefix and that company name we will give it as a publisher name and what the project you are you are building that we will keep it as a solution name in in generally okay so if we say new project if it's a new project sorry if it's a existing project if it's a existing project so the task is assigned to you so then we you, uh, you have to start the development and where to start you are not aware of that so the here you have to know you whenever the tasks is assigned to you at the first day in that project you have to know you need to ask your manager or lead whoever is there for the development so you need to ask them which solution i need to use which solution 
I need to use use for development which solution I need to use for the development if they they said use this uh, the particular solution then you can go ahead and you can start doing the development in that solution and if they said go ahead if they said if they said go ahead and create a solution then again you need to ask the second question you need to ask which publisher should I use? Which publisher should I use to create a solution? To create a solution. So, in generally, for most of the projects, ideally we will have a only one solution for the project specific. Uh, sorry one solution will have a project specific and one publisher will have this project specific so again if you have a, if you are following a sprint model or feature model then there might be a, a lot of no, a number of solutions will be there but most of the times we will maintain a one publisher only for for each project if we if you have a multiple partners multiple people they develop it they may be creating a multiple publishers and multiple things then where you need to you you need to ask this question to the your managers or your lead okay so let's see uh, the beginning and base step is is that for existing project or a new new project creating a solution is a our starting point for the development Okay, let's see how we can create a solution in the CRM system. See, when you log into the Dynamics 365, you will get all your model driven apps. So, which are the app you want to, you can open. So, I'm using the Sales Hub app. So it will open that app. Once this app is open, so if you want to navigate to the customizations uh, settings tab, so here we need to click on this personal here settings. When you click on that settings, here you can see the advanced settings. When you click on the settings, it will go to the settings tab. So that advanced settings will, will redirect and it will show the solutions and other stuff. So once it is uh, came to the setting tab, so here you can see, so if you have a system administrator role, then only you can able to see the solutions, plug and trace logs, this other stuff you can able to see. So the basic step for creating a solution, the starting point for the development, we need to create a solution. To create a solution, we need a publisher. So how we can create a publisher first, we can go to the setting so customizations and here you can see the publishers click on the publishers so these all are the default one where we, it will come with by default so we can create our project specific new solution so new publisher we can give the publisher name so let's say i'm giving the crm ones and here the prefix by default it will come with the new so we need to give whichever we want it that once we can click on a save and close that our publisher is created now we can go back to the customizations 
we, from here you can create it when you click on here it will navigate to the solutions So this is a new power platform. So that old version of the customizations, it's gone now. So we have to adapt the power apps, uh, power apps uh, platform. So here, once it is come to the here, so we can click on a new solution. We can give the solution name. So like a, I'm, I'm just giving a, Here are months. Sales management. And which publisher we want to show it. So this is our publisher. We can select it. Version we can give it one. And once you click on a create, So version number we have to give. So generally version numbers will give it like a one dot like that. Later I will explain it, how it will be there. So once you click on the create, that our solution will be created here. So when you open that solution, When you double click on that solution, you can able to see, uh, we can able to uh, see what are the components, uh, it is there in that solution. But as of now, we don't have any components. So that's why this solution is empty. Because we just created here. Okay. So like th these are the basic step where whenever you are doing the project starting, uh, starting. So these are the basic steps we need to take care. Thank you so much for watching this video.